Hello Pisces, this is your top secret Crosswatchers video. This is all about your person of interest, the person you have a connection with. All right, let's take a look and see what we have here for you Pisces. Slow and easy wins the race. And so we see slow and easy with the movement of pentacles, which is a knight of pentacles energy. So that makes sense. And actually that's the advice of spirit also. Okay, this person is in it to win it. We have Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation. So I like that it goes very much along with the reading because the reading that says laying a strong foundation would be the Three of Wands, the Two of Wands, making the decision, the commitment to move forward, and the Emperor card. Because the Emperor is about creating structures and buildings and stabilities. We also see the Victory card. Okay, time to collaborate. So time to collaborate is really about working together as a couple. It's about commitment. It's about, you know, working together. So when I'm looking at this Pisces, I feel as though your person likes you a lot more than you like them or that's what they think. And um, they threw caution to the winds when they met you. I'm getting, they feel like they're racing in. Page of Wands, you know, that's really, it's almost like a childish enthusiasm. They might have been a little bit pushy to meet you. I'm getting that this person is, they wear their heart on their sleeve. They speak very easily about their emotions, um, but they may have come on very strong to you at the beginning of the relationship. Now, the energy right now, I think this could be COVID because this is healing. This is also, this can mean somebody could have illness. Four of Swords can mean illness. It could also mean that they have a broken heart they haven't fully mended from another previous relationship or with you. The Four of Cups is here twice. The Four of Cups and the Four of Cups, they think you're bored with them. They think that they have let you down. I will say this about the Four of Swords card. I have found that among my clients, that sometimes lovemaking isn't going right and sometimes it's for physical reasons. You know, there could be some sort of issue with that. This person's very worried about it. And it's a wand. They're very worried about a wand. So it really says that there may be some sort of issue in terms of they feel that they're not pleasing you, that you are bored emotionally, quote unquote, with them. The Heart of Wands says that they know that you expect them to be a very good lover and they think that you don't think they are so much or that there's some physical deficiency or difficulty that they're very worried about. Your person is spies on you. <laughs> It's a page of swords card it's a detective card you know i wouldn't even call it spying if it's out there on social media it's not really spying you're giving the information out freely this person is not really doing anything wrong but look at this they're seeking enlightenment they're willing to take a chance walking over a steel blade with no shoes on they're between two mountains there's a waterfall they're studying with one hand so this person looks like they have emperor energy this could be aries energy it could be Cancerian energy. It could be, you know, again, Aries energy because the heart of heart of the Queen of Wands and the Emperor are both Aries energies. You know, the Ace of Wands is Aries. So there's a lot of Aries energy here. We've got Leo energy. But what I'm seeing is that your person sees you as happily ever after. Look at that Ten of Cups. That is a marriage card that indicates they see you as the person that they could love forever. Pisces energy, Pisces, there you are. You're in the reading. Spirit is suggesting, you know, the turtle energy. Uh, slow and steady wins the race, and that is the movement of pentacles, as I said earlier. You know, when I'm looking at this lay the foundation, your person wants to win a victory with you. They feel as though, you know, they feel as though they have to step up their game. Again, they think you're bored with them. The Six of Swords is, I think, healing. 
that's what I'm getting. I'm getting this person may be healing again. Our COVID numbers are so high, they could be down for the count with some sort of illness. Uh, you might be separated so that you can't see each other, so that both of you feel bored. It does look like you really like the person. I am getting the Queen of Wands. That's how they see you. So they do see you with this fiery energy and the Ten of Cups, you know, implies somewhat that, you know, they do think that you care about them, but they think they're boring you. The Lover's card, look at this. Your Outcome card is a Lover's card that is the, the soulmate energy. The Six of Swords, they may have to travel to see you. You may be the lockdown. It may be as simple as being six miles away, but on lockdown, the Spirit of Cups is a deep and abiding love. That is the Scorpio King. So the energy here is really that your person feels as though you're their soulmate. I don't think that they, they do not think that you see them in the same light. So let's clarify some of that. Let's see why we, why they think that you're so bored with them. Again, I do feel as though they feel they're, they're that. They feel as though you are bored and the wands are the issue because of the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, I mean the, uh, the um, Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Okay. Why do they feel that you're bored? Why do they feel you're bored, Pisces? Why do they feel you're bored? It's Cancerian energy. Seven of Cups, oh my gosh that maybe they can't live up to your fantasies as a lover or that maybe you have other lovers that you've liked better than them you may you may have asked them for something in bed and they felt like they weren't doing it the right way yep eight of wands that there's something about the sensuality this person really will take the time to invest and learning to please you, however that resonates, whether it's emotionally, spiritually, you know, or or um, physically. Let's see what you think of this, okay? Let's see where, let's see what the truth is. I'm gonna look at a different deck. What's the truth of the matter? I know this is how they feel, but let's look and see where you're weighing in on this, this physical issue what seems to be a physical issue and then I want to weigh in and see they think that you're going to leave them though they really do look at that awake at night crying in their hands feeling as though something's wrong okay let's see six of cups six of cups says that you really like this person more than they think you do or, you know, a lot of this is fear-based, too. But why did, Why are we getting the Four of Cups for you twice? Three of Pentacles. Well, you, you know, collaboration, collaboration. So, and that means that you're still, you know, you're willing to work with them. That's what it looks like. Okay. The Eight of Swords, you feel as though this person may just have a mental block. You know, you feel as though they need to like, you know, let their guard down. They need to let you in. They need to open emotionally. The Four of Wands, you really do think that this person could potentially be a person that you could marry. The Four of Wands, you know, is that funny? We have the two turtles here. But, you know, it looks as though you're willing to work with them. Slow and steady wins a race. And we have, you know, the Four of Wands, though. The Four of Wands, we have, so we have the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Wands. We don't have the Five of Wands, which is good, but then we have the Six of Wands. So the Four of Wands is a marriage card. So it does show that you have an interest in this person. So the advice that I have for you right now, Pisces, would be, you know, just work through these problems with compassion and kindness of which you you boast to have a lot of because you have that neptunian kind sweet energy and look at this this is actually scorpio energy look at but how beautiful you see this you really like to be with this person 
We have the beautiful little lotus blossoms, you know, that you feel abundant with when you're with them. I would say this person is probably very good in their career. They bring a lot to the table. You would probably travel to a lot of exotic places. You know, this person's really open to being happy. For some of you, this person may be, there may be an age different difference because I see a page and an emperor. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of a lot of good stuff here. I just see this bump in the road right here So Pisces sending you love from Chicago send some back and tell me where you're from